actually to Henry last Friday, and the word was circumspection. And circumspection means to look around, and you actually described your process of looking around, yes. that you've actually got a confrontation, you've yep. got a blockage, yeah. and, the, and essentially I said, be like water, which, yeah? And water essentially <laughs> looks around. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Instead of trying to confront yes. the situation yeah. head on, yes. looks around the situation and looks for support that can come from elsewhere. You know, essentially, I, you know, Jack's had huge problems. I've had huge problems when we've been, we've been put into a confrontational situation within this university. And the way we've survived is essentially by looking around and drawing in help from around, yeah? Mm -hmm. So in, 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 you're quite right, actually it's all about energy, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> because you've got a massive great peak there and you've yeah. got lower peaks there, yes. if and essentially water flows down a lot, you find the, you, you, you create and follow the path of least resistance, yes. essentially, yeah. uh, is, and that's, that's essentially how you work. Yeah. Um, the situation with Ted is very peculiar because Ted is has an inverted block in that Ted, you know, whereas my thinking is actually recognizes all the limitations of objective rationality, yeah, and actually sees a way through those limitations by assimilating and transforming objective rationality. Ted also sees the same limitations with objective rationality as I do but he won't assimilate it. And as a result of his non-assimilation, <laughs> he actually arms it. And he actually does exactly this business of confronts it. Yeah? Um, instead of finding a way through it. And I, I invented, I was really proud of my invention. I invented a lot of things last week, none of which seemed to ultimately get through to Ted at all, but they, I think they got through to a lot of other big things. I, I mean, I talked about <coughs> uh, transfigural tennis, which yes. I think is a very, very interesting idea, where you suddenly you can see the net not as an obstacle, <laughs> but as what allows passage. Yeah, and actually in some senses the distinction that you need, it both makes a distinction and allows passage simultaneously. So you actually get a curved flow uh, as long as the two players on either side of the net are treating the net not as not as a blockage, but as a distinction, then actually you can have a wonderful, ever ongoing rally. Uh, the moment you try and take advantage, <laughs> it's when the thing, when when the when the conversation, when the flow stops. But there is a real sense here of circumspection means looking around mm -hmm. and it is actually to do with thinking about mm -hmm. natural energies in terms of circulatory flow. Mm -hmm. and there's an also, also another thing which is, is, is you may or may, or may not be aware of but you maybe might be from last week is I'm actually obs almost obsessive about the problem of talking about positive and negative. Mm -hmm. um, actually I don't think, I mean I, <laughs> Is that we can we can we can talk about using energy <coughs> adversarially, mm. and we can talk about using energy favorably or creatively, but energy itself is neither. And there is a, there, it, this is also linked very very strongly in my mind with a massive problem which is embedded into our mathematical thinking which is actually to treat the negative as bad and to treat the positive as good and to treat the negative as something that takes away from the, from the positive, literally subtracts. Now, in inclusional thinking, negative actually rep represents receptive <coughs> and positive represents res responsive. So that you can actually think of, yes, yeah, of, 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 of them actually being in a co-creative, yeah, giving and taking, yeah, receiving and responding kind of relationship, which is creative, yes, yeah, <coughs> like where you regard the net in a tennis match <laughs> as a distinction that simultaneously allows passage, yes, as, a, as actually the very basis for energy flow. Um, so there's, there's something all around those issues which is actually very important to me. And 
most fundamentally of all, this has to do with our ways of thinking about matter and space. And essentially, right at the heart of it, is as soon as we have a logic which isolates matter from space, we're in trouble. As long